The 8 Sarmat is a powerful intercontinental ballistic missile Ixabian that has been in development since 2009. The missile is designed to replace the older Soviet ERA Airs 36 missile, which was in service since the 1970s. The development of the ERS-28 Sarmat is part of Russia's ongoing effort to modernize its nuclear arsenal. The ERS-28 Sarmat is one of the most powerful missiles in the world, capable of delivering multiple nuclear warheads to targets over 10,000 kilometers away. The missile is designed to be able to evade missile defense systems and strike targets with great accuracy. The missile's range and payload capacity make it a significant threat to any potential adversary. The missile is named after the mythological creature Sarmat, which is believed to have lived in the area that is now modern-day Russia. The missile is also known as Satan II, which is a reference to the older Soviet, or missile errors, 18 Satan. The missile's name reflects its destructive capabilities, as well as its role as a deterrent against potential aggressors. The ERS-28 Sarmat is a liquid-fueled missile that is designed to be launched from underground silos. The missile is powered by a combination of liquid oxygen and kerosene, which gives it a range of over 10,000 kilometers. The missile is designed to be able to carry multiple warheads, which can be independently targeted at different locations. The missile's payload capacity is estimated to be around 10 tons, which means that it can carry a large number of nuclear warheads. The missile's accuracy is also believed to be very high, thanks to its advanced guidance systems. The missile is designed to be able to evade missile defense systems, which makes it a significant threat to any potential adversary. The ERS-28 Sarmat is also equipped with a variety of countermeasures, which are designed to protect it from being intercepted. The missile is believed to have a range of decoys and other measures that can confuse and defeat missile defense systems. This makes the missile a formidable weapon that is difficult to defend against. The development of the ERS-28 Sarmat is part of Russia's ongoing effort to modernize its nuclear arsenal. Russia has been investing heavily in its strategic nuclear forces in recent years, and the ERS-28 Sarmat is just one of many new weapons that are being developed. Russia's investment in its nuclear forces is driven by a desire to maintain parity with the United States, which also has a large and modern nuclear arsenal. The development of the ERS-28 Sarmat has raised concerns among Western countries, particularly the United States. The missile's range and payload capacity make it a significant threat to the United States, and the missile's ability to evade missile defense systems makes it even more dangerous. The United States has been working on developing new missile defense systems to counter the ERs, 28 Sarmat, and other Russian weapons. But it is unclear how effective these systems will be. The ERs, 28 Sarmat, is also seen as a significant threat to NATO countries, particularly those in Europe. The missile's range means that it can strike targets in Western Europe, and its ability to evade missile defense systems makes it difficult to defend against. NATO countries have expressed concern about the ERS-28 Sarmat, and there have been calls for increased spending on missile defense systems. The development of the ERS-28 Sarmat has raised concerns about the risk of nuclear war for several reasons. Firstly, the EAURs. 28 Sarmat is a very powerful missile with a range of over 10,000 kilometers and the ability to carry multiple nuclear warheads. This makes it a significant threat to any potential adversary, and its destructive capabilities could be seen as a provocation by other countries. The missile's ability to evade missile defense systems also makes it difficult to defend against, which could increase the likelihood of a preemptive strike by an adversary. Secondly, the development of the ARS-28 Sarmat is part of Russia's ongoing effort to modernize its nuclear arsenal. Russia has been investing heavily in its strategic nuclear forces in recent years, which has raised concerns about an arms race between Russia and the United States. This could lead to an escalation in tensions and an increased risk of nuclear war. Thirdly, the development of the ARS-28 Sarmat has been seen as a destabilizing factor in international relations. The missile's destructive capabilities and Russia's investment in its nuclear forces could be seen as a threat by other countries which could lead to an arms race and an increased risk of conflict. Fourthly, the ERS-28 Sarmat is a liquid-fueled missile that is designed to be launched from underground silos. This makes it difficult to detect and track, which could increase the risk of a preemptive strike by an adversary. The missile's ability to evade missile defense systems also makes it more difficult to defend against. 
which could increase the likelihood of a first strike. Finally, the development of the ERs-28 Sarmat has raised concerns about the risk of accidental nuclear war. The missile's advanced guidance systems and countermeasures could be misinterpreted as a preemptive strike by an adversary, which could lead to a retaliatory strike and a catastrophic escalation of tensions. The risk of accidental nuclear war is already high due to the complexity of nuclear weapon systems and the development of new, more advanced weapons like the RER-28 Sarmat could increase this risk even further. In conclusion, the development of the AR-28 Sarmat has raised concerns about the risk of nuclear war due to its destructive capabilities, Russia's investment in its nuclear forces, and the potential for an arms race and accidental escalation of tensions. It is important for countries to work together to reduce the risk of nuclear war and to promote disarmament and arms control measures.